Now we will just come down to Indo-European language. We understood plant, la plant language, animal language, human language, in human language how it is developed, how uh, this migration happened and so many language families are there. Now we come to the point Indo-European language. Migration and journey of the development. Migration, multiple migration happen, multiple migration to, during you can say thousand thousand of years and that has given the development of the human. Now you just thought, you just go back if we would have the time machine, if we can go, go we can travel with the time back to the 10,000 years back, 20,000 years back, just suppose if migration would not happen, then not a single scientific literature developed, anything could not develop. Everything happened because people started to migrate, they started to mingle with other community or other group of people due to everything developed. Sometimes due to how to make you soup, how to make you you can say better than other group or sometimes for the evolutionary purpose for the safety or evolutionary purpose for the essential need slowly slowly development happen like once you are going out from your own safe zone to some other zone what will happen you will become more aware because you are in new place you are in new place you have to develop so many skills to survive there like you are going to France, just suppose suddenly you are going to France, what will happen? People are speaking French, what to do? You have to learn very fast French to survive there. Then migration is only decided this all journey of development. Then uh, just I summarized in one flow diagram. It has started from Africa, it has come to Ukraine. From Ukraine, one group of people has come to Arab side, Iran, Afghanistan, then India, mainly you can say north and western part of India. And afterwards, uh, from Ukraine, another group has gone toward the Russia side, another group has gone toward Germany side. And from Germany, they have gone to other part of Europe. You can say this is your lump sum story. Indo-European language, mainly you can say this is Germanic language, Sanskrit, Greek, Latin, Iranian. These five, you can say very prominent language has developed from Indo-European languages. Hindi is a, you can say, just child of Sanskrit and English is a child of Germanic. In this way, we can say English, Hindi, Bhai, Bhai or they are cousin to each other. In the position of the language family. In the way, positions, position in their language family, they are cousin to each other. Because they are having, uh, uh, they are, their mother are having the same root. Their mother is Germanic, their mother is Sanskrit, both are having same root of Indo-European. Now this migration story you can uh, visualize based on this from Africa people has come to here Ukraine from here they have come to Central Asia this 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 is your India part and from there Iran all part they come from here one side they have gone to Germany side then Europe side and afterwards from here another group has gone to this side. Branches of Indo-European main you have to focus Germanic language Indo-Iranian. Uh, after then, Balto, Slavic and Romance branches. Romance which don't think is a romance of girls and boys, no. This is a different story, I will tell you. English is a non-romance -rom language. English is not romance language. French is a romance language. Spanish is a romance language. Origin and diffusion of Indo-European. These, these theories are there. Now, many facts are there. You will find uh, much interesting. You can say around 7,000 total languages are there. That uh, that are speak that are spoken throughout the world you can say in uh, developed script without developed script we are not considered here but which are having the written and developed script that is 7000 approximately languages are there this is one of the highest language or you can say different type of languages in any particular country it was used this is one of the country this very small country, Guiana, Papua New Guiana, that is a small, very tiny island where 840 different types of languages are used.